Welcome to Hospitality and Catering at the Stonehenge School. The course is a three year course and there are two units. Unit one is the written exam. In unit one, we learn all about the industry, job roles, standards and ratings, dress code, equipment, kitchen operation, control measures and health and safety and ill health. It's really important that anyone who joins hospitality and catering has an interest in learning about the industry. Unit two is the practical exam. In year 11, there is a three hour practical exam that year 11s will take and build towards starting from year nine. So in year nine, we continue learning skills from year eight. Year eight was a really good opportunity to start building catering skills and obviously start of year nine, we take those skills a little bit further. It's really important that we improve our appreciation of food and you need to understand that you won't always be cooking something you like. So you just need to appreciate that it's to do with the food and the skill that you are learning. We explore different cuisines of food and we obviously start the theory. In year 10, we continue with the theory. Towards the end of year 10, we will have completed all of the learning for unit one and will prepare for unit two. In terms of practical, we will develop more high level dishes, we will explore more categories and we will start the coursework which is built onto unit two. In year 11, from September to December, we write our coursework, we start cooking the practical dishes for your exam in January. So each week in January, you prepare for your practical exam with the practical exam being around March. Coursework must be completed by the practical exam and then we spend the rest of year 11 preparing for your written exam. Now, do take catering if you're willing to try new foods, if you're able to meet deadlines, if you're willing to do plenty of writing, if you have some interest in the industry or jobs and if you're willing to contribute to class verbally. Don't take catering if you're not willing to try new foods, if you can't meet deadlines, if you don't like writing, if you think you're just going to be cooking all the time, if you don't like contributing to lessons and if you can't follow recipes. Misconceptions, it's easy, it isn't that easy. There's lots of cooking involved, however, they are very high level dishes that we focus on and there is a lot of written involved so you need to be prepared to do some writing but also obviously do some cooking. Now final thing for hospitality and catering is that you need to have an agreement with your family that they are happy to provide ingredients for the three-year course. If you can't for whatever reason bring them in or fail to bring them in we'll have a potential of being removed from the course because this is a big commitment. However, Miss Rains will always be organised with what you cook and can send out lists at the start of year 9, 10 and 11 about what sort of things we will be cooking so you can get prepared. Thank you for watching and I hope you pick GCSE Food as an option.